Today on CVTV Idaho, we're going to discuss the progress of the Toughest Park Funland Restoration Project. We're going to discuss the plans the city has to improve the Greenbelt Riverwalk area. We're going to discuss the city's plans to install high-speed internet across the whole city. And best of all, we're going to discuss their plans to install a new water tower in Idaho Falls. We're going to get into all this after the intro. Welcome back guys to CBTV Idaho. My name is Tyson. I'm your local journalist and videographer for Construction Business TV in the East Idaho area. If you don't know, CBTV is a national news platform dedicated to providing you with the latest stories and news updates on construction projects going on in your local area. And in the spirit of providing you guys with the latest news updates in the East Idaho area, I'm going to let you guys know that there is road construction that is still underway on the US-91 uh, between Shelley and Firth, Idaho, in which a uh, the shoulder on the east side of the road is still under construction. So drivers should handle that commute with caution. That's a commute that I handle daily, so I see it all the time. Be safe out on the roads, guys. Next, I have some local job postings to share with you guys. Rainbow Restoration is looking to fill positions in four different job descriptions. We're talking about remodel estimators, restoration technicians, carpenters and framers, and remodel project managers. So all these positions have been listed as entry level full-time positions and I will provide the links to that. It's They're going to be found on indeed.com. I'll provide the links in the description below the video. Okay, let's get into some local construction news stories for you guys. We're going to start off with the toughest park, Funland. Uh, the plans for the full restoration of Funland are rolling forward in 2021 as well in preparation for the 75th anniversary of this beloved local theme park in 2022. Everyone is invited to donate to the restoration of this iconic Idaho Falls landmark and there's going to be a description to make that donation in the link below. Next off, the Greenbelt River Walk in Idaho Falls as well as other biking and walking trails in the area receive steady use year round. In 2021, the city expects to begin construction of additional trails along canal pathways in the heart of the city. When complete, will be even more connected by more multi-use trail. And these trails are also expected to assist with social distancing, keeping people more safe outdoors. Okay, next story. One of the lasting lessons of 2020 is that having high-speed connectivity for all residents is a need, not a want. Fiber optic build-out is moving across Idaho Falls at a faster rate than initially predicted. Some areas of town are easier to hook up than others. If you live in an area served by overhead power lines, chances are that fiber service has already passed by your home or soon will be. The parts of town that with underground wires require a little bit more construction to install. So here is a statement from Idaho Falls Power. When it comes to both internet connectivity and electricity, reliability is key. Idaho Falls Power has an industry leading reliability rating. And as our utility continues to grow, maintaining our reliability requires redundancy in which turn requires continued investment. So in 2021, we will begin construction on a new substation north of town along with 18 miles of high voltage power lines con to connect it with the local grid. And finally, let's talk about the new water tower set to go up in Idaho Falls. Early 2020 saw the culmination of public outreach on the location and style of the new replacement water tower. Our city's need for a new tower is not news anymore. The fact is that repairing the existing tower due to its age and large number of issues requiring repair is not the safest or most cost-effective alternative, and for the money it would not result in enough capacity to serve the city's needs in the future. Throughout 2021, the city will be doing the background work necessary to begin construction on the new tower in the spring of 2022 which will meet essential safety guidelines 
doubling the holding capacity and serve as the backbone for our city's water system for years to come. And that does it for today's weekly news update. My name's Tyson. I'm your local journalist and videographer for Construction Business TV in the East Idaho area. If you found this information helpful and if you want to continue following these projects as they unfold and as they develop, hit the uh, subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and don't forget to uh, share this news, share this channel with your friends. Leave any comments below if you have questions on any of these particular projects and we can get that information out for you. Thank you guys for your time. Thank you for your support. You guys have a good day and drive safe.